And we're back. <laughs> okay. That good? You're still at full health. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I am still at full health. You've only lost so half a health bar so far, but you act like this is the scariest game you've ever played. The squeaking in the background is Henry playing with his cat toy. <laughs> right, I guess we should address that. I already went down there, right? And came out the came out the hole. Did I go down there? Or did I go down the other one? Is there another one? I don't know. Maybe I should go down here. No, I went here. Did I go here? Let's find out. <laughs> should we stop him? Um <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Uh you'll we'll no, have to put he's his, having fun. Maybe he's we'll having have... fun, sorry. Oh I did go down here. Okay. Sorry. Right. We'll put a little video of him being cute. Okay. So that it's not so annoying. Because okay. if you see him being cute. Yeah. Then it's not so bad. Totally. Uh, there's another raptor right around the corner or somewhere. Where are you at, raptor? You probably got it. No, there's another one. Oh, there he is. Is that another T-Rex? two of them. No, two raptors. Yep, that sounds like a raptor. Yeah, like, they got that sound right. I, I don't know why they couldn't get a wolf sound. Well, what do... I don't, I don't even know what... Well, I guess, what what do birds... Birds cluck and stuff, so maybe that's what raptors sound like. Maybe. Because apparently raptors were only about knee-high... And they had feathers. That's cool. So like that. That's awesome. That raptor there. It probably never existed. Yeah. Like like that. Jurassic Park raptors never were never like that. Sorry to ruin your movie. They definitely wouldn't be bright red either. I'm gonna say probably that. not. I mean, they could be. They could be bright red. You don't know. Like it just doesn't seem evolutionarily. Uh, useful to be bright red. Unless you're around a bunch of bright red plants. I guess. Were there bright red plants? I don't know. Maybe. Cartoons Her would have you believe. I've heard that bugs were as big as us. Yes. That is terrifying. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't want to touch one. That would be so gross. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near them because they'd probably try to kill you. Yeah, they would. That's scary, man. That's no, that's the stuff of nightmares. I just think about how much mosquitoes like me now. I don't want to know. <laughs> They're giant, gross sucker things. Ew. <laughs> wow, well, you picked that uh, underwater gear up really easily. Yep. I remember playing this, and it was impossible to pick things up. Oh no. While underwater. It's actually a lot easier than picking it up not underwater. Oh, really? How did that gear get there, by the way? I don't know. But, yeah. How did anything of anything ever in this game? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, to pick something up not in water, um, you have to, like, sidestep your way right up to it. Yeah. Very slowly. <laughs> yeah. Precisely. <laughs> Meh. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> she said, if you're that, kinda, that sounds like being hit in the stomach, you know? Yeah, kind of. Being kinda. slapped against the wall. I feel like you'd be making a... Why is there another save point here? Maybe something hard is coming up. Mm. I'm gonna there risk it. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should save. I just saved, though. Forget it. I'm saving that you save. You just saved? Save the save. I'm saving that save, because... Oh, can you make that jump? Yes, man. This is a leap of faith. You gotta take you it. sure? Listen to the inspiring music. Yeah, okay. The music's it's telling me to go for it. Trust your instincts. That's good design. Believe in yourself. You can do it. There I did go. it. Good job. I'm a... Look at me. I'm an Asiatic shrimp farmer. Don't give up. Yeah. Remember that gift set? Oh, I love that gift set. <laughs> That's the best. If you have final cog, let's try to put that put that in the video. Or no, we'll probably, we'll put a link in the description for that. Try to remember to do that. Yeah. It's a good little gift set. I love this rock hard rope bridge. Very inspiring. Now I will go save, because I actually did something worth saving. 
What did you do? I got that last cog. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah. I also wasn't paying attention. You were thinking attention. about that very inspiring man. That's all right. Yeah. I also forgot to start a timer again. Uh, that's okay. Three gonna... more minutes? Um, sure. We can, uh... I'm gonna go put all these cogs back in. So, from your... Fabulous. From your perspective, what yeah. is the story? What's happened so far? Okay. So, in the very, very beginning, which we didn't actually show... Or did we show? We showed it, We right? might have. Yeah, we did show it. Um, something crashes into the desert, uh... And it opens up, it's like a capsule type thing, and you can see that there's this person frozen in this ice type looking stuff. Or glass. Or glass, whatever. I interpreted it as it being like a tube or a capsule of some kind. Yeah. And I, I didn't think it was crashing, I thought it was exploding up. Oh, did it? Yeah, from the ground. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Um, so then it cuts to uh, Laura Croft in Calcutta. Uh, right, who's... this is the cutscene that we did show. Yeah, she's chilling out in some hotel, and uh, this dude with a swanky accent um, says that there's this chick who, I guess, is some sort of uh, entrepreneurial, yeah, independently wealthy lady who wants her to go get an ancient artifact in Peru, which does not mean the same thing as Capiche. And, uh... <laughs> go get that for her because she's like a freelance archaeologist badass and yeah, so I'm out here doing this just likes to do it for sport not for money and she wouldn't do it until the lady said that it was really dangerous yes all Indiana Jones style yes although I haven't run away from any boulders yet um, eventually yeah that's coming Don't you can't you make worry. like a Indiana Jones inspired thing and not have the boulder. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That water, can you hear that water noise? Yeah. What about it? No, no. Not the, not the top layer of water noise, but like the weird bassy noise. Creepy. No, I can't. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Let me back. Let me back. Let me up. Oh boy. So she would have a concussion. Yeah. Ah! I sacrifice myself. Like that. That IMAX movie. But the Maid of the Mist. <laughs> okay. The Maid of the Mist IMAX movie that only, like, people from Niagara Falls <laughs> yeah. that went to grade school here would have known, would yeah. know about. When the, the, the so-called Maid of the Mist throws herself off the waterfall. Um, I don't know why she did that. I can't remember. There's a lot of stuff you're going to have to explain for our non-Niagara Falls. Oh, God. Just that. Just that. That's the only thing I haven't mentioned. It's just Niagara Falls history, whatever. Look it yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think she's... Is she real? Is she real? Is she a real Who lady? Knows, man? Did she really kill herself? I don't know. Oof. Oof. Who knows? Loving Could these be. textures. Could just be a story. I don't know. I have no idea. She's basically the Niagara Falls Pocahontas. Yeah. Kind of, right? I, maybe. I think so. Well, what was Pocahontas significant for? Uh, saving, saving that dude. Saving John? John, what's his face? John Smith. John Smith? Yeah. See, poor Pocahontas, like, if I were her, I'd be like, is that your real name? John Smith. <laughs> John really? Smith, really? Mm, I don't trust you. I don't believe you. All right, so let's put in these cogs. So you remembered how to get back here. Yeah, man. I know all, and I see all. There you go. That arcog we... Trust me, there's a point at which things will get really dicey, because I won't remember. <laughs> and then what happens? <laughs> then we consult a walkthrough. <laughs> no, you're going to figure it out. Oh, no, that'll just be endless. It's got to be genuine. All right, let's see if this baby works. Well, let's see what happens. Oof. we got to wrap this up. What was that? 
I used to. What? Used to what? Oh no, there's still water. What the hell? I have that setting on my Yamaha. Really? I think so. The uh, Gregorian chant setting? Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, should we. Yeah. We should, uh, we should call it quits for now, because uh, there's some interesting stuff coming up soon. Okay. Yep. That's it for this session? Yep. So this should be, what, our sixth video? Uh, seventh video. Seventh. Seventh. So this is our seventh video. I guess we'll do another set of seven in a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll give you a little bit of break from Tomb Raider. Yep. We'll get back to Raiden. And we'll get back to Raiden in a little while. I'm not Raiden for the whole year. Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye!